Mmm, candle. Welcome to the My Vegan Christmas Sample Box Taster video. That's essentially what we're doing. We're going to taste everything in this box. We've got some clear whey, some normal protein shake samples, and um, some, some snacks to go through. Obviously, as the January is coming up, this is something to pay attention to because you might want to be knowing what is the best protein out there for you coming up to the January. In the interest of keeping this vegan, I will not be using what I usually use, um, which is normal milk, regular milk, cow's milk, beef juice, heifer cream, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> if you will, um, I will be using a soya milk, um, just to make it as authentic to what people will probably be using at home if they're going to do the whole vegan stuff. Made some notes like a good boy. We're basically going to be comparing pea protein isolate, soy protein isolate, and then the vegan protein blend. We've got a couple of flavours of each, so we're going to go through them, figure out which one's the best, and then tomorrow I'll be doing the rest of it. The clear way, there's a BCAA thing in there, um, and some snacks, and then we're just going to put it all together, and hopefully this is the this is the video. You're in it now. You're watching it. I'm going to get on with it. Let's crack on. First thing that is up, let's do the pea protein isolate. We've got two flavours. All right, here we go. Pea protein isolate, we've got chocolate, and we've got coffee and walnut. Let's put these to the test. We're going to be looking at authenticity of the flavour, the actual taste, the mouthfeel, because sometimes these can be a bit grainy, and protein content per serving. All of them have about 21 grams of protein, apart from the soy protein isolate, which has 24. That's essentially the only difference, and that's it. That's all we're going to talk about. Drink, drink, drink time. That is loud. I've got the coffee walnut here of the pea protein isolate. I'm only going to do a small sample of each one because I've got seven to go through. Doing a full sample would destroy me. So I've not had the pea protein before. Um, so this is going to be my first time. See what it's like. See if it's good. I can taste the coffee, a little bit of walnut. I can taste a lot of pea. As in, yeah, you know, the um, the petit pois. Um, it's quite thick. I don't know how I feel about that. I want it to be a little bit smoother. Authenticity to the taste, though, isn't great. The overall taste is all right. I'd probably give it a five out of ten. What's the other thing we're looking for? Mouth feels all right. It's not grainy, but it's still got a good bit of consistency to it. Oh, yeah, that's it, really. Protein content's pretty high. Do I want to drink a whole shake of it though? Probably not. It's not a strong start for, for the, the pro, pea protein isolate. But if you like the flavour, if you like the taste of greens in your sweet protein, you do you, boo. All right, let's get this down. On to the next one. Ugh. Here we've got the chocolate pea protein isolate. We're going to jump straight in. That's a lot better. I don't taste any pee in that. It doesn't taste greeny. It's it's an alright chocolate flavour. It's a bit of a weird tang to it. But I could drink this one a lot more easily. Still that same thickness though. I give this one a 6 out of 10. I could potentially drink it for a one-off shake. But I wouldn't want to drink it regularly. That's where we're at. Let's get this down and on to the next one. Scrap that. The walnut's going down to a 4. This is a 5. I wouldn't want it for a single shake. Sorry, pea protein isolate is out for me. So here we've got the strawberry soy protein isolate, as you can tell. I do like the soy protein isolate. I've got the salted caramel one for myself. I've not tried this one before. See, now that's nice. I don't know why the others couldn't get that right. Still quite thick, but a nicer mouthfeel. It tastes like the strawberry whey protein, if you've tried that one before. Yeah, much nicer mouthfeel. It does taste like strawberry as well. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that authenticity to the flavour. That's important. Taste is pretty good. I could drink this if it was if it was a big bag. I don't think I'd have lost my money out. Maybe not every day. I reckon it'd also be pretty good with water as well. Or almond milk. That's gonna get an eight for me. An eight. Doing well. Up next, we've got four vegan protein blends that's the pea and bean based protein seeing i've just had the other two pea proteins i'm not looking forward to this this underlying green flavor from the pea 
hopefully that's that's taken out. The strawberry soy isolate as well is also higher in protein than all the other ones. The soy seems to be slightly better. You can double check that. Yeah, so it's right on the front. 24 grams of protein per serving. Pretty sure it's all the same serving sizes as well. So protein per serving is better for the soy protein isolate. We may, I'm only number three out of seven, but may already have a winner. Let's not speak too soon. We've still got four to try. Could have a surprising flavor. We do have a surprising flavor. Blueberry and cinnamon, which will be the next one I'm gonna taste. Let's get this one down me though. Yeah, still good. This is the blueberry and cinnamon, and I think the hardest thing that this is going to have to overcome is blueberry isn't the strongest taste, and cinnamon really is. Initial thoughts, okay, I'm smelling a bit of blueberry in there. Authenticity to the flavour. Now, I don't have the most refined palate in the world. I can taste a bit of blueberry, I can taste a bit of cinnamon, so we're off to a strong start. However, collectively, now I don't know about you, but it feels like I'm drinking a candle and I don't, I don't drink candles very often. Actually, I don't drink candles at all. It's actually, it's actually all right. It's just a weird taste. Does it taste like blueberry and cinnamon? Sure, why not? But I can't get it out of my head that I'm drinking a candle. Um, Texture-wise, I think it's probably better than the pea protein, but not as good as the soy. And I'm not getting any of that um, underlying pea flavour either, which is which is positive. But flavour-wise, it is oh, it's knocking it down. I'd, I'd call it a six. Would I have it on its own? Probably, yeah. Maybe if I blended it with a banana, some oats. Probably have it once in a blue moon, <laughs> a blueberry moon. <laughs> You're not funny, Sam. Um, but I wouldn't buy a whole bag of it, unless, unless you like drinking candles. Next up, uh, chocolate again? Chocolate. First, let me get this down me. Yeah, let's finish it off. Mmm, candle. Ooh, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Um, we've got three more flavours to go through, chocolate, strawberry and chocolate salted caramel. What am I doing? All this, all this protein is making me very sluggish. What are we doing? I'm filming a YouTube video. Vegan protein blend. <laughs> My protein, the chocolate flavor. Is it good chocolate? Does it taste like chocolate? Yeah, come on, Sam. Come on, Sam, get it together. Mm. Does taste like chocolate, but I'm not blown away by it. Was it better than the pea protein isolate chocolate? Nope, I reckon they're on par, to be honest. I'm not really getting much of a difference between the pea protein isolate and this vegan blend chocolate. Um, I'd probably put it at a five. I probably wouldn't want one to myself. And it's either this one or the pea protein isolate, which I've got two of. I've got two of the pea protein. Not much to say about this, apart from I don't like it that much. It's a five. I won't get it. I've got, I've got to finish this off. i got to finish it off. Will it solidify my choice? We'll find out. Nope. I'm gonna be very bloated after this video. This is the strawberry vegan protein blend, so we can make a direct comparison to the soy protein isolate, which was strawberry as well. Need I say more? No. Smells like strawberry. Tastes like PG-13, Samuel. Um, yeah. No. No, it doesn't, it doesn't taste as uh, like strawberry. Do you know what it probably tastes more like? You know, the green stem of a strawberry. If you just gave that a blend, maybe kept a tiny bit of just the top. If you cut the tops off loads of strawberries and blended them, so you still get a little bit of strawberry in there, but mainly stem and leafy green bit. That's what the shake is. I'll give it a five, because I'm not going to put it on the same level as the coffee walnut, but... Nope. First half is nearly over. We've got the salted caramel chocolate, vegan blend protein. I'm not hopeful. I've not really enjoyed the other vegan blend ones, but we've got to do it. I think the next half of the video will be a lot better. Chocolate salted caramel, taste test. 
Smell is is not is not getting me there. But we're here for the taste. No, oh, not even finishing that one. Three. <coughs> ah, yeah. Palate cleanser. I'm really sorry. I really like my protein, but I can't in good conscience say anything good about that. Don't buy it. Hey, they've got some great products, but that is not a winner. I'm sorry. Only here for the facts. Only here for the truth. Hopefully, this first half has been helpful. I'm not sure whether I'm doing a part one or a part two, but I know I like to chat and add way more information and gubbins into this whole situation. Like this. Like this right now. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Having a coffee with you, that's what I'm doing. I hope you're doing all right. You having a good time? Hope you've enjoyed the video so far. That's it for this first part anyway. I'm going to cut right there uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Horrible. Not a happy boy. Oh, also, that one, that horrible one I've not liked is the only one that's 20 grams. All the other ones are 21, apart from the soy protein, which is 24. So not only does it taste, I will refrain from using uh, vulgar descriptive words, substandard, it's also got less protein in. What? The next day. It's day two, it's round two, the rest of the bars to go through. Oh, did that rhyme? So nice. Unplanned, clearly not, not got a script for any of this. So first off, we're gonna get through the drinks, we're gonna go through them all in one go, and then we'll go through the bars. We've got two carb crushers, a cookie, and a peanut square, and hopefully, Wrap this up fairly soon. It's a long video, I know, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Thanks for sticking it out to this part in the video. Unless you skip forward. Good. Yes, we're back. I did the full serving of each of these, which is a lot. I followed everything to the, to the letter. So we've got the clear vegan protein, but the strawberry we're gonna taste first. Yeah, tasty. You can drink it. What more do you want? Not the strongest strawberry flavour, but that's quite nice as well. It's not overpowering, it's just sweet water. Super smooth. Easy. An 8 out of 10. Happy days. The <clears throat> oddly coloured drumstick flavour, um, which I've just found out is raspberry vanilla. Didn't even know that's what drumsticks tasted like, but hey ho, here we go. Surprisingly, it tastes an awful lot like the vanilla raspberry whey protein. Drumstick flavour wise, <laughs> Not getting the strongest drumstick feeling. I've eaten quite a few of them in my time with the massive sweet tooth that I've got. It's all right, it's still drinkable, but the flavor's not as good as the strawberry. Even though in my opinion, it doesn't seem terribly authentic, the flavor's still not amazing anyway. But it's smooth, it's easy, it's sweet. Next, the Vegan BCAA Sustain. It's a lemon and lime flavored. You've got to have in a serving, an 11 gram serving, 500 mils of water. It's very mild, but it's tasty. The utility of it though, I don't quite see its purpose. Why it needs to be a product, really. I don't really like BCAA products. I don't see the point in them. You're better off with one of these, in my opinion. Actually get some protein into your system and get nine amino acids instead of just four in a BCAA. That's that. I'm rating this a six. Overall, you can drink it, but you've got to drink a lot of it to actually get any use out of it. And I'm not a massive fan, I'm biased. I don't like BCAA products anyway, but it would do the job if BCAAs are what you're looking for. But for me personally, stay out of six. I didn't actually rate these two, did I? Strawberry, which I put at an eight, actually I did rate that. This one I'm putting at a seven, the, the drumstick. I wanna make it very, very clear. The clear vegan protein, even though it's got less protein in it than the soy, the pea, the vegan blend protein, you can actually drink these. The other ones, mm, not so much. The soy, yes. But again, that's quite thick, it's quite heavy. They're super easy to drink. You find a flavor that you like, you're A-OK. -okay. Pretty sure they've got plenty of flavors as well. So next up, we've got the bars. I'm gonna have a small sample of each one, just to let you know how it is. And that's what we're doing. Cool. Okay, so we've got the baked cookie, the peanut square, and then two carb crushers. The peanut one with um, pretzels on top, very nice little touch, and the dark chocolate sea salt. These, we have to take a little bit more into consideration when recommending them because they have difference in protein and calorie content. What I'll do is I'll put the calorie and protein information on the screen if I can be bothered, um, but if not, just a little note, if you are interested in the full My Vegan range 
of bars, snacks, those sorts of things. I will be doing all of them in a separate video a little bit later down the line. First, we're just dealing with the sample box. Cheers. That's really good. That's a nine out of 10 for me. I'm gonna have to have another bite. Clear nine out of 10. I think the only thing that holds it back is that it's quite high in calories, so it's 290 calories. It's only 13 grams of protein, but other than that, you know, if you're wanting a dessert, <laughs> smashing that one. Woo, okay, easy. Next, the peanut square. Chocolate orange peanut square, 12 grams of protein, 233 calories. I've enjoyed that bite. It's a little bit dry. You know at the end of a protein bar where it sort of starts to disintegrate? Just a little bit. And you get that towards the end. Flavour-wise, though, it's really good. You do get a bit of the peanuts coming through. You also get the chocolate orange. I'm giving it an 8. I'm happy. I'd eat a whole thing of it. Which I'm gonna, because I've got the rest of the bar to eat. Next up, the chocolate sea salt carb crusher. Sea salt? S sea salt? Samuel. You'd need more caffeine, my dude. Wake up. Next up, I'm going to try the chocolate sea salt carb crusher. This one's got 15 grams of protein and 212 calories. Too dry. It's not got a good mouth feel to it. The flavor is not very strong either. Obviously, you don't want sea salt to be too overpowering. But then again, if it's bland, you don't want that either. I'm putting that at a 6.5. Someone gave me a bar. I'd be like, eh, cheers. It's not a 7. A 7 would be like, Nice one, thanks. 6.5 is like, meh, all right. Yeah, a bit disappointed. Carb crushers are usually like, bang on. I'm a little bit deflated now going into the next carb crusher bar. I used to really like them, but we've got the chocolate peanut to try. It's got the pretzels on top. I think it's quite a nice touch. This one's the highest protein and the lowest calories. It's 16 grams of protein and 212 calories. Same problem with the mouthfeel, it's quite claggy, it's not nice to have it in your mouth. However, it's got a better taste. I'm not enthralled by it, but it's still a better taste overall. Definitely better than chocolate sea salt. I'm gonna give this one a seven. If someone gave it to me for free, I'd be like, ah, oh, cheers, but I wouldn't really pay for it. Hopefully, that gives you a better idea of what's what. Personally, knowing what I know, I would go for the baked cookie, even though it's higher in calories, I'm actually gonna enjoy it, and that's kind of the point. And it's only slightly less in protein as well. If you really care about 70 calories worth then go for a carb crusher bar there we have it that's everything sampled out of the box we've tried and tested it all my vegan i think i think you got some work to do <laughs> you got some homework you're not even watching this a little round up because you really want to know whether you should part ways with your cash and i'll just tell you what i would spend my money on and hopefully help you make an easy decision soy protein isolate i gave that an 8 out of 10 the strawberry was really nice i like the salted caramel one I use it myself for bakes, so spend your money on it. Easy. The baked cookie, gave it a nine. Top notch, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to the rest of it. Spend your money on it. The clear vegan protein, the strawberry flavor, really nice. I'd spend my money on it. It is a very nice drink to have, but do bear in mind the nutritional information of it. It's lower in protein than what you're gonna get from a normal protein shake, but much easier to drink. Pros and cons, you know, that's what we're here for. Uh, everything else, wouldn't touch it, wouldn't bother. You know my opinions on it all now. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. Please do drop a comment below letting everyone know what your favorite vegan products are and your supplements so, so everyone can share in knowing what everyone else likes. So hopefully people can find the best thing for them. Thank you very much for being here. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Hit subscribe and like. Um, all that sort of good stuff it really does help. It's a small channel. Really like to, to be able to show my face to more people. All right. Take care and I hope this helped. Let me know if it did. Cheers. Bye. Tasty boy. Mm. Words, Samuel. <sighs> be eloquent, my boy. Bye.